So stocks and oil and interest rates all heading south. The market was off about 350 at one point. I think it closed down about 200. Question is, is it time for a gut check? And the big question is whether our next guest, David Bonson, group managing partner of David Bonson and company, can he single-handedly bring the market back? That's all I want to know, David. Go ahead. Go. Can you bring the market back? The answer is no, I cannot. But I have good news. I also happen to know that nobody else can either. Oh. So I'm just here to tell you, yeah, very disappointing, I know, Larry. Um, you know, all guys like you and I can do is call balls and strikes. And what you have right now is a market that's done very, very well. All sectors have recovered with this vaccine-led recovery. Some stuff's gotten very expensive. Today, you have the yield curve tighten immensely. Uh, the 10 year closing down at 135. Remember wow. that wow. inflation story? I, I don't remember it much either anymore. Mm -hmm. So here we are. You know, it's interesting um, reading one of the top, top, top <coughs> newsletters this morning. So you've got commodities are falling. I noticed oil fell today. I don't know by how much, but I think it fell considerably. As you just said, the bond rate, the 10 year bond rate is falling, which means the. Um, Inflation uh, break-evens are probably falling. So commodities down, oil down, interest rates down, stocks down. Now, profits expected to be gangbusters up. Is that going to be the determinant? Or, David, I don't want to be wordy here, but these normally might be signs of future economic weakness. Now, this is a special situation, but who's going to win this foot race? You know, declining rates and commodities and oil or, or rising profits? I think the oil price thing has to be separated, and I'm not trying to make it complicated, but you really do have this OPEC plus thing going on. And for whatever reason, some American policymakers have decided that we want global energy markets to be more run by a cartel in the Middle East than Texas and Oklahoma. But the fact of the matter is that supply demand things are a little questionable with oil. Remember, oil prices hit almost 78 this morning. They dropped later in the day. Mm. So there's a lot of speculators and things in that story. Economic growth, though, is very strong. Right. And, and you and I both know that. It's just I think that the markets got, got ahead of themselves got in valuation. David Bonson, thank you.